task force working to prevent wrong way driving incidents. Uh, so that group is taking a closer look at how Valley bars might be contributing to these sometimes deadly accidents. Carissa Planoff is live along the I-17 tonight with more on their plans. Carissa. Well, we know many of those wrong way drivers are intoxicated, so the task force would like investigators to find out where those drivers get drunk before they get on the freeway. Wrong way driving, something that's occurred over the years, but this year with a lot of intensity. Wrong way crashes have claimed 19 lives this year. That's nine more deaths than last year. For many wrong way drivers, it starts with alcohol. Investigators had determined the driver responsible for an I-17 crash killing two sisters had a blood alcohol level three times the legal limit. How do we fix the impairment issue? Task Force Chair Alberto Gutierrez with the Governor's Office of Highway Safety says investigators found evidence at that April 14th scene that helped them track down where the driver got drunk. They must have found, again, a receipt okay, or something or a charge or they checked that out you know, the person was drinking. I hope that we can do that more uh, with other cases. It would take more investigative work where possible and more pressure on Valley Bars to watch how much alcohol they serve their patrons or face disciplinary action. Because it's the license at stake. Well, it is already against the law for a bar or restaurant to knowingly serve alcohol to someone who has already had too much to drink. But the task force believes they could use this type of enforcement to prevent wrong way driving incidents if bars and restaurants know that they could come under extra scrutiny. Reporting live off the I-17, Carissa Planelp, 3, uh, 3TV.